work right here. I'm gluing these pipes together. Basically, I drilled holes every three feet. What this is for is for a drain field. And the way it works is like a, the leftover um, fluid that comes from the septic. That's pretty much most of the way treated by bacteria and stuff. Anyway, whatever's left over comes to the drain field and uh, it'll basically shoot out of these holes. It'll evenly distribute into the ground uh, every three feet. So it works like kind of like an underground sprinkler system. Check out what we're doing here. This is crazy. Crazy ass work we got here. What's up guys? What's going on? It is 7.30. I'm almost home guys. I worked 11 hours. You guys saw the trenches that I was digging in. Um, digging, you know, digging up dirt and concrete and breaking up concrete with the digging bar. That's what I was doing all day. Uh, 11 hour day guys. I'm freaking tired. As tired as I can be. I don't know, I might be working for them tomorrow on Saturday. It's my day off, but like I guess one Saturday out of every month, they want me to come in and do stuff for them. A lot of times it's working in the yard, like cleaning up around the yard there at work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, they said call in at 7.20, which means, uh, which means I can sleep in at least and see if I have work or not. But the fact that I can sleep in is a freaking blessing because I'm tired. <sighs> I've just been going, 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 doing stuff constantly. And tonight, I don't feel like I can do anything. I'm just so out of energy. So I'm just going to enjoy a really, really long sleep, guys. And, you know, rest up, catch up on my sleep, you know. I need it, so thank God I can do that. <laughs> What's going on, guys? What's happening? It is Saturday evening, about 6:40. Um, so I actually ended up sleeping like uh, nine hours this morning, and um, they had said that they had some work for me, and so uh, I went in and uh, I put in. Uh, Let's see, seven hours today? Seven hours back in those trenches, jackhammering concrete and, you know, hauling concrete in a five gallon bucket and shoveling dirt and chopping rebar. And, man, it was crazy. This one place I was digging in this, like, building, like, they had, like, these big, big pipes and stuff like that. A bunch of them. And uh, my buddy, come, the co worker, comes over and he's like, whoa, whoa take it easy with those and uh he actually pulled me away from that area he says just do some work over here because i guess like that was like the power for the entire building comes through there and like he says if i was to even like nick that or hit that or hit a wire or something it would just get explode like a big crater would happen there and it would just like vaporize me he says it's that much voltage and shit so he just pulled me away from there i was it was crazy he's like all right well shit if it's like that i don't know if i want to be digging around there anyway uh, so uh yeah so i put in seven hours he even bought me some mcdonald's which was really nice man i got some really cool co-workers man always buying me lunch and coffees and shit so yeah he bought me mcdonald's and a frappuccino at mcdonald's and that was pretty cool and yeah he, he did that and he says as long as you bust ass with me today and i was like oh i got you and uh yeah i was like jack hammered and i dug this giant tunnel in like literally like 10 minutes and he was like holy shit like, i don't mess around i'm the commander anyways uh on the way home, I stopped and got Keiko some dog food because I guess he, he didn't handle the dog food I gave him very well. 
got this, this new dog food and it's like bigger like pebbles or whatever and he's not used to it and uh I just, you know he eats so fast and it's just food he's not used to and he went and threw up like four piles in the living room which is lovely I woke up this morning and Tony he's like you're gonna be pissed and I was like what do you mean he says your dog shit all over the place and I was like what the I was so mad that I went in there and I was throw up and I was like well I can't be mad at him for that just cause he got sick you know I was like, buddy, you could have done it anywhere other than the carpet, though. Like, jeez. So, anyway, I got him some new dog food, and I got me a bunch of groceries, like DiGiorno pizzas and more stuff to make my, my lunch wraps and, you know. The next day. What's up, guys? What's going on? And I'm driving to this big truck. <laughs> Sun is bright, but I'm not complaining. It's warming up out here. I'm just, uh, I'm at my job just waiting for the bus, so, yep, getting ready to do some work. I guess lay some pipe. <laughs> so they got me doing some plumbing work right here. I'm gluing these pipes together. I already glued these four together. <clears throat> gluing basically 50 feet worth together. And I'm gluing these fittings on here. And then I've got to drill little individual holes. I'm going to drill one here. About every three feet or so at the top of the pipe all the way down 50 feet. Pretty crazy, huh? Boom, just like that. So there we go guys, we got 50 foot of uh, one and a quarter inch PVC. Basically I drilled holes every three feet. Probably wondering why I drilled all these holes. Well, it's because uh, what this is for is for a drain field. And the way it works is like uh, the leftover um, fluid that comes from the septic, that's pretty much most of the way treated by bacteria and stuff. Anyway, whatever's left over comes to the drain field and uh, it'll basically shoot out of these holes. It'll evenly distribute into the ground uh, every three feet. So it works like kind of like an underground sprinkler system. Pretty darn cool, huh? Oh uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, my job was just to glue these together and drill the holes and now I gotta run about, uh, I don't know how much feet of uh, two inch um, plumbing, so PVC. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna do that right now, glue a bunch of two inch pieces together and uh, probably be getting out of here. Uh, the boss took off. It doesn't really have anything else for me for right now. So I'm going to head back to the shop and then talk to Dispatch. And Dispatch might find me some more work. So, yeah, we'll find out. There's that inch and a quarter, the 50 foot there. And then I got this thing here. Look at this long sucker. <laughs> That's like, uh, I think it's about 100, 160 feet, something like that. Glued it all together. Bam. I am done here. Got me working my ass off. I'm wheelbarrowing uh, 
uh, pea gravel from that uh, trailer over there. We'll burn it right here. And then I'm dumping it up in here. Crazy, huh? They got me working. It's already almost 6 o'clock p.m. I don't know if I'll be able to see my girl tonight. I don't know, man. Jeez. Listen, there's an owl. Alright guys, I'm out of here. I'm done. Well, I'm not done yet. I got an hour drive home, but I'm gonna drag this trailer back to the back to the shop. But yeah, no, I gotta actually it's an hour drive back to the shop and then an hour drive home. That shit is crazy. I really wanna see my girl tonight. I really did, man, but I don't think that's happening. 